Hello, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Anas Samjad. I'm the course director for electrical and electronic engineering. I would like to give you a tour of our laboratory which we use for telecommunications, electronics and robotics courses. So first of all, uh, I would like to show you uh, some of the hardware we have in the uh, laboratory that we use for uh, telecoms and signal processing uh, systems. We've got this uh, Imona TIMS uh, uh, system here where we've got the different sort of modules which are connected on the uh, Imona TIMS system. It is used for uh, understanding different uh, electronics and telecommunications concepts. We have got optical fiber uh, here. If you have got broadband at home then we normally have uh, optical fibers which transfer information at great speed. So we learn basic concepts of optical fibers uh, using uh, these, this system. We also have uh, uh, different options to implement uh, modulation techniques uh, which we use in communication systems. So using uh, this, these different blocks we can learn about uh, how the modulation techniques are uh, implemented, how they are used in communication systems and uh, how can we apply them in, in real life. So this is a very good, uh, this gives a very good understanding of broad uh, communication concepts uh, ranging from optical fiber to modulation techniques and then also covering uh, signal processing. We have got uh, some uh, signals plotted on the oscilloscope, so in the laboratory we have got uh, oscilloscopes at each uh, bench and uh, we use these uh, oscilloscopes to visualize different signals and then we can understand uh, basic phenomena of different uh, advanced uh, topics. And uh, similarly, we can uh, test different type of systems to, if we design something, we can test whether the design is uh, appropriately implemented, are there any problems in the design and if we want to make any changes, these systems will help us to validate uh, the process we have followed. We also have uh, different uh, uh, kits here in our lab. So we have got the analog system uh, lab kit. Uh, this system, uh, this lab kit contains uh, analog board where we have different uh, analog components connected. We can use those components to test uh, different analog systems and mixed uh, analog signal processing uh, could be done by using these uh, analog uh, system lab kit. We have some microcontroller development tools here. So we've got the Texas Instrument uh, microcontroller development tool and we also have the ultra low power uh, microcontroller from Texas Instruments. So these ultra low power microcontroller systems uh, are used in uh, applications where we, we, have, uh, we need to make sure the system doesn't draw too much power and uh, there is less uh, power consumption. Uh, and then at the end we can maximize the lifetime of the uh, system if it's battery powered. Similarly, uh, these systems are quite uh, uh, effective in terms of cost, so they, are, they can be widely used. If we design something using these microcontroller boards, they could be used in a number of real life applications. We have these uh, STM32 uh, microcontroller boards, which are based on the ARM Cortex uh, processor. The ARM Cortex processor is quite uh, widely used in industry. It's used in iPhones, it's used in fitness devices, it's used in car infotainment systems. So in the lab here, we work with these microcontrollers which are similar to the ones which are used in industry, but these are mostly used for educational purposes and low uh, and cost effective applications. Uh, these are very powerful, they uh, support high frequency, they have uh, uh, they are very complex and uh, it, they are used, they can be used for applications ranging from IoT, uh, from uh, in uh, automotive applications, from medical applications. We also have uh, a number of consumables that you can use as you go through your studies with us. Uh, we've got uh, different type of capacitors, we've got different type of resistors, we've got diodes, we've got uh, different uh, amplifiers, operation amplifiers. So these are some of the things you'll be able to use uh, as you go along in, uh, through different modules. If you need, for example, to build a system or uh, a circuit where you want to use capacitors or resistors, the lab is uh, uh, open to you to work with, uh, on and then you can just simply come into the lab and uh, use the resistors or capacitors you need for your uh, project or for your module. And uh, this gives you an opportunity to design and learn things in your own time as well if you want to, if you are interested in uh, understanding new things in designing different sort of circuits, then you can design your circuit first uh, using a simulation software. So in the uh, lab laboratory here, we have a number of 
uh, simulation software installed on, on machines. So those simulation software are used to, first of all, if you have designed some system by using some mathematical calculations, you will be able to implement your design using the simulation system. And once you have simulated your design, you'll be able to practically build the system and uh, test your design to make sure uh, everything works properly. So to test your systems, you can either use uh, microcontroller boards to either program your design, connect different sort type of sensors, or you can uh, take the approach of using analog systems by uh, using resistors, capacitors and build your circuit uh, in analog domain and use it for uh, the desired purpose. Thank you for your time and attention. I hope you enjoyed this virtual tour of our, our excellent facilities that we have in the university. Uh, if you have any further questions, please feel free to get in touch with uh, myself or my colleagues and uh, we'll be happy to answer your questions. Uh, please follow us on the social media channels and uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.